Hello, G Nation. I'm Yoz G, and we are going to do that four star bronze Otis preview that I said I was going to do, and that everyone keeps messaging me about because I haven't done it yet. Fortunately, I've been sick for the last couple days, which explains why I haven't done it yet. As you see, I do have a five star bronze fuse I got from a pull I posted a while ago. I haven't used it yet because I want to do it at four star bronze, like I said. And before we actually go on with the uh, four star bronze basic preview, I want to show you what I am personally using, which obviously is not basic. So we're not going to see the gameplay for that, although I do have a tour I did with it. So I'm using the dozer bomb, the middle roll diving and the corner shoulder truss, which we'll see later. And the trainers I'm using are George Steele, uh, Mr. APA Bradshaw, which adds red gem 25%, blast gem 100% and three extra blast. Using Santa Ogan for the extra 22 extra damage per gem. Don't care about the MP. And I got Bischoff for the 22x, uh, 2200 more damage for each blast because again half the board is going to be blasts so this is the setup i am using now let me show you the basic setup all right the first move set we're going to use for otis is my personal favorite it is the dozer bomb 8 mp purple move deal 44.8k damage and make 20 random gems into blast gems the middle rope diving splash 8 mp green move deal 43.6k damage and make nine blast gems into red gems and the corner shoulder truss 8 mp green move deal 45.6k damage and increase your purple mp by six now trainers we're going to be using we're going to use steel so that or green start with four more and we're going to use rusev so we make three extra uh, blast gem obviously if you have uh, apa bradshaw he is a much better option because he adds 100 percent to the blast gem damage and 25 percent to the red gem uh, i'm putting rusev here because a lot more people should have him since he was free back when you could have him uh, if you don't have either of them you could go with someone like uh, for example slick rick or you could even go with uh, big john stud to make more reds out of those blasts uh, but i kind of like to make more blasts because they're all going to be connecting to each other but yeah those are some options if you don't have rusev or bradshaw uh, as far as the belt uh, i'm using the current uh, belt we got from the town up that adds 20% but I haven't unlocked anything yet I was waiting to do this uh, obviously otherwise I would put the Andre plate there and I would have everything unlocked All right let's do this we're gonna go versus a 10.7k earthquake Okay, so we're gonna use the shoulder truss to get our purple first. Now we're gonna lay down the 23 blasts. And turn nine of them into reds. nothing matched because we didn't have much reds already but <laughs> as you can see it's not really hard to do a match of your own pretty much got rid of the whole board and he's not gonna survive that there you go he is out now this is a four star move set uh, because of the the green move that makes the red now let's look at another move set. All right, second move set for Otis. This one is a two-star move set. It is the Caterpillar 10 MP red move finisher deals 78.2k damage. Choose six gems to make into purple gems and pin the opponent. The double axe handle 7 MP red move deal 40.6k damage and modify a three by three random Maria into X break gems. And the Discuss Clothesline, 6 MP Purple move, deal 34.7k damage, 
and choose a 3x2 area to swap into red gems. Again, keeping basic trainers, we're going to use wood so we start with more purple, and we're going to put Slick Rick to have our color gem do 20% more damage. If you don't have Slick Rick, you could make more purples instead. Uh, you could go with uh, increasing the finisher damage. Uh, that would be Priest, although if you don't have Slick Rick, you probably don't have Priest. But yeah, those could be other options you could use, boosting that finisher damage. Uh, having move metal uh, would definitely help as well. All right, let's try that. Okay, so we're gonna make our red area. Now you don't want to cascade, so Put it where it doesn't match with anything. Now we're gonna make our X break area. And now we're gonna pick six gems to make into purple, which is gonna make this break. This is gonna break all of them. Now I'm gonna replace the loot boxes because those don't really do any damage and let's replace some other gems that are going to get broken anyway and he is out so that works well too i obviously like the first one better but this works really well too and we're going to see a variation of that now All right, third spec, which is gonna be a variation of the one we just saw, this one doable at three star. We're still gonna use the caterpillar, we're still gonna use the clothesline, but instead of having the three by three X's, we're gonna use the dozer bomb, which is eight MP purple move, deal 44.8K damage, and make 20 random gems into blast gems. So basically use that purple move from the first set on the third one. Uh, for this, we're going to use the same trainers we just did. We're going to use Woods to start with that purple, and we're going to have Slick Rig so that all gems do more damage. Uh, you could use, again, uh, Rusev here, or you could use also uh, APA Bradshaw again. I'm just putting Slick because we talked about him earlier, and I just used him, so may as well keep using it. So yeah, we're going to be making 20 gems, uh, 20 random into blast, and then we're going to use that finisher to choose six to make into purple to make those blasts go off. Let's do that. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can lay down those blast gem right away and just put your 3x2 area on whatever and get your win right there or you can get your red and then put your blast and then use the finisher to blow them what i'll do this time is i'll make the blast first just because the other one you risk maybe getting a cascade or something <laughs> And, zero. and then we're gonna put the red area right there and it's already over and we didn't risk a cascade so that works out pretty damn well too so as you can see otis is a really damn good character probably the best free one we ever got I and mean, he's better than a lot of paid character <laughs> so that's it guys thanks for watching if you're not already a sub make sure to do so to be kept aware when i post new stuff have any questions ask them and if you like the video leave a like and share see you guys gl ciao